Sun Anand runs the real estate business. Uh, well, how much of a mentoring hand do you place on his shoulder in the real estate arm? I mean, is it an arm which he's cutting his teeth in and basically earning some experience before you get him back into the main fold of Piramal Enterprises? Uh, uh, hand him the reins of finance and pharmaceuticals as well over time? Uh, so what we're doing is in terms of structure, we are actually uh, now demerging our pharmaceuticals and financial services. So both, uh, I think by the next nine months should be both independently listed on the stock exchanges. And uh, as far as uh, pharmaceutical is concerned, my daughter Nandini, who has been in the business for now 13, 14 years, will be, actually, and she's running it even today, uh, will be continuing to uh, run it and do so more independently. Uh, <clears throat> I'm fortunate that both my kids, Nandini and Anand, have graduated from the best schools in the world. One from Stanford has uh, done her MBA. Anand has done it from uh, Harvard, so they are good. And uh, even as far as the financial services is concerned, actually Anand is taking now much more interest. And uh, he is, uh, so it's not that he's going to come into financial services, he's already in it. Mm. So is that the succession plan in a way at the Piramal Group that your son runs real estate and finance and daughter runs pharmaceuticals? So in some ways, yes, it is. Uh, we are preparing them to take a larger responsibility in both and that's what they're doing here. Yeah? And you have the very uh, interesting and may I say even in some quarters they would say enviable position of having Mukesh Ambani as Anand's father-in-law. I mean, I am always intrigued by, do you ever get together for a cup of coffee? Do you discuss business? What's your equation with him like? So uh, as uh, Mukesh and I actually go a long way, we've been friends before our kids were born. So th that's the good thing. So I think both of us have seen uh, our children being born. He's seen Anand born and I've seen uh, Isha. So we've had a, we have a, had a very close relationship and uh, this has only further cemented this, uh, this uh, union between Anand and Isha has only cemented it further. And he's not the mm, giant businessman that you have some kind of a tie or linkage with. You also have a big linkage with the Tata Group. I mean, you were on the board of Tata Sons at the time when Chandra took over. And you've had the perspective of seeing him work over the last many years. I mean, uh, uh, as somebody, as an insider almost, are you happy with the way Tata Sons is shaping up now under Chandra? Would you say he has your vote? I think uh, there's no doubt that, I mean, you don't need my ratification of what he's done. The markets say it, and you can see the business performance saying it. So I think it has been an exceptional uh, performance over the last five years. And I think at the situation when he did take over to what it is today, there's a material change. And that's obvious for all to see in every business.